dear students today's uh, topic is the rabin crypto system so this is one of the uh, alternative asymmetric key algorithm for the rsa algorithm so in the case of the it is uh, rsa algorithm mainly it is based on the exponentiation congruence in the rsa algorithm so it is based on the exponential congruence but in the case of the robin crypto system it is based on the quadratic congruence quadratic congruence so this is the main difference so since it uses the quadratic congruence the decryption of the message is infeasible that means whenever the attacker tries to decrypt the message it is infeasible generally the public key in the robin crypto system is some integer number n you can take any public key for the encryption that may be any number example n but the private key is the tuple of the two largest prime numbers p and q p and q are the two largest prime numbers so here we are using the two primary prime numbers as the private key and one integer number as the public here everyone can encrypt a message everyone can encrypt a message using the public key n using the public key n but only the authenticated person can decrypt the message using the private keys combination p and q so only the authenticated person know the private key values p and q values that's why p only can decrypt the messages can decrypt the message everyone using the public key value n everyone can encrypt the message but only the authenticated persons who know the private key values p and q they only decrypt the messages so that is the main advantage here mainly the security of the if you consider the security the security of the robin crypto system is related to the difficulty of factorization mainly here the if a number is there if it is the very biggest number and uh, we can't uh, factorize that number so whenever it is uh, difficult to factorization then it is impossible to decrypt that's why the security of the robin crypto system is related to the difficulty of the factorization it has the advantages over the others on which it banks has proved to be hard as integer factorization of course it also has the disadvantages that each output generally uh, whenever you decrypt a cipher text using the rabin cryptographic algorithm it generates generally four possible plain text actually we have sent only one plain text message but at the time of decryption in the robin rabin crypto system we will get four possible plain texts so here the person at the recipient side has to choose the appropriate plain text he has to select the appropriate plain text among the four so so it is a, it is the non deterministic 
it is not deterministic so if the output is a cipher text so here we need some extra complexity required on decryption to identify which of the four possible inputs for the proof plain text that is the main disadvantage so advantage is difficulty of factorization so it's more secure disadvantage is by using this algorithm we will get four possible plain text so we have to select the appropriate plain text at the recipient side so for that we need extra complexity uh, here these are the the steps involved in the robin crypto system first how to generate the public key and private keys key generation for the key generation generate two very large prime numbers p and q so p is one of the largest prime number q is also another largest prime number they must be not be equal to p the p must not be equal to q and p and q must be congruent to 3 mod 4 this is one of the important condition the important condition between the these p and q prime numbers is either p or q must be congruent to 3 mod 4 that means whenever you divide p by 4 the remainder should be 3 otherwise whenever you try q by 4 the remainder should be 3 so whenever you divide whenever you divide either p or q by the 4 you must get the remainder 3 only so this is the relation it must the p and q values must satisfy this condition the p value is congruent to is q is congruent to 3 mod 4 that means whenever you divide p by 4 or q by 4 you should get the remainder 3 that is the relation between for example if you see the uh, assume uh, for example p is equal to 139 and q is equal to 191 so 139 modulo divided with 4 is equal to the remainder is 3 because 4 3 12 and 19 is there 4 4 16 then remainder is 3 so we got the remainder 3 for 139 if you check the 191 also if you divide 191 module divide 191 by 4 so 4 4 16 here 31 4 7 28 so the remainder is 3 so for both p and q values we got the remainder 3 after dividing it with the module dividing it with the 4 that's why uh, you should take the p and q values though they must be satisfy this condition then multiply you will calculate the n value by multiplying p and q values so calculate the n value by multiplying p and q values so here till now we have p and q values are assumed and n value will be calculated by multiplying the p and q values so here the n value is assumed as the public key and the combination of q and uh, p not this one q and p will be assumed as the private key combination so then return the public key and private keys so this is the key generation so using this these steps we we have assumed the p and q values by using those and p where by multiplying those p and p q values we get the n value n is the public key and p and q are the private keys now encryption process so get the public key encryption can be done by the public key here so get the n value now convert the entire message 
our plain text into some ascii format then it converts into some integer value so finally our plain text is assumed as m that is the integer value encrypt that m by using this formula so m square mod n m square mod n this is the m is the plain text value integer value that square mod n is the cipher text now c is the cipher text send the cipher text to the recipient so encrypt here the encryption process get the n value public key n value convert an, our entire message into some numeric value that is the m encrypt to that m convert the term into cipher text using the m square mod n formula then send the cipher text at the decryption side recipient receive the c value that is the cipher text value then here you should calculate some a1 a2 b1 b2 values using these formulas so a1 will be c power p plus 1 by 4 mod p a2 is minus c power p plus 1 by 4 already we know the p value and c value and again b1 is c power q plus 1 by 4 mod q b2 is minus c power q plus 1 by 4 mod q then we have a1 and a2 b1 and b2 and p and q are the modulus values so we have the four values so by using by using this a1 and a2 b1 and b2 with mod p mod p and mod q so by using chinese remainder theorem chinese remainder theorem you will calculate four plain texts those are m1 m1 is one of the possible plain text that can be calculated by using chinese remainder theorem m2 also another plain text m3 is another plain text m4 is fourth plain text so among these four plain text plain text we will choose one of the actual plain text so we will get four plain text m1 m2 m3 m4 you have to choose one of the exact plain text so uh, how to calculate the this m value or uh, this m value using chinese remainder theorem already i explained so this is this chinese uh, remainder theorem crt theorem so if the formulas are e like this x is x is congruent to a1 mod m2 and one again x is congruent to a2 mod m2 x is congruent to some ak mod x so he is here remainders are different modulo value modulus values are different and a1 a2 these are well different but here decide we have the x so using this formula we have to calculate x value x value so how to calculate the x value when the formulas are like this so for that first of all you have to multiply the all the remainders m1 multiply m1 and m2 mk all the remainders that is the capital m then find some small capital m1 by using m by this m1 m2 is equal capital m by m2 that is second remainder second uh, modulo divider mk is last m capital m by last modulo divider after that you have to find out m1 multiplied to inverse m1 multiplied to inverse that is called m1 minus 1 and m2 multiplied to inverse Uh, up to mk minus it inverse by using these values we have to calculate x value by multiplying a1 that is coefficient m1 this is the m1 and m1 inverse plus a2 second equation coefficient that m2 m2 inverse up to like that finally mod this m value come this m value so what is m value multiplication of the all the modular modulo dividers modulus values that is the m value so by using this formulas we will calculate the actual plain text values
example this is the flow of this one here the ex example ellis and bob is there ellis sending the plain text p he encrypt this plain text by using p square mod n so here n is the public key n is the public key so by using this n um encrypt the uh, plain text and converts the creates the cipher text using this formula this cipher text is sent here the cipher text is decrypted by using the private keys p and q's p and q's decrypt those two values then finally get the plain text now come to the example the example resume <clears throat> bob selects bob is the sender he selects p value is 23 q is 7 note that both congruent to 3 mod 4 because 23 mm, divided by 4 remainder is 3 7 divided by 4 mod divided by 4 remainder is 3 so both are congruent to 3 mod 4 then calculate n value p into q that is 23 into 7 is equal 161 now bob announces n publicly so his public key is 161 but he keeps p and q values as private so assume here bob is the recipient so uh, the recipient side bob is there he will send his public key to other to send some messages from them so whenever the bob wants to receive some message from other person he should send his public key to him that's why uh, he calculate n value by multiplying two large prime numbers here for example i have taken small values but actually they will take very very biggest prime numbers so here for example i have taken small values only after calculating n value n is the public key and uh, p and q are assumed as the private keys now ellis ellis is the sender ellis wanted to send some plain text what is the plain text value p is equal 24 plain text value is 24 so already i told in the previous case entire our plain text is it is converted into some numeric value for example, it is 24 here. The plain text value is 24. Now, Alice wanted to send the plain text 24 to Bob. Note that 161 and 24 are relatively prime. Here, oh, you have to choose the what is the plain text value 24 and what is the public key of the Bob 161. So, both values should be the relatively prime. What is the meaning of relatively prime? Both should be the co primes. That means GCD of 24 comma 161 should be equal to 1. Then, then you can say both are relatively prime or co-primes. Now, uh, Alice, she calculates ciphertext value. So what is the ciphertext? Converts the plain text into ciphertext by using this one. So C, ciphertext is equal plain text 24 square, that is 93 mod public key 161 so 24 square mod 161 actually 24 square is equal 24 into 24 this is equal to 24 into 24 Uh, its value is equal to actually it is 576 it is it is the 576 576 after modulo divide it with 161 you will get 93 so 93 is the ciphertext so actual plain text is 24 
this plain text 24 is converted into cipher text 93 this 93 um, is the cipher text that will be sent to the bob bob is the recipient 93 is the cipher text that will be sent to the bob because he is the recipient now bob receives the 93 70 93 that is the cipher text and calculate the four values as per the given uh, formulas a1 is equal to a2 a1 a2 b1 b2 what is the formula a1 is equal plus cipher text power p plus 1 whole by 4 mod 23 that is equal to if you, if you calculate this one you will get 1 mod 23 so after calculating this one you will get 1 mod 23 uh, how to calculate that one 93 power 24 by 4 is 6 93 power 6 mod 23 its value is equal to 1 its value is equal to 1 now like that calculate the remainder how to calculate these values and the, those will be already explained so for example uh, how to calculate minus 93 minus 93 power 24 by 4 that means 6 mod 23 this is equal to actually minus 93 whole power 6 mod 23 already we have the 1 this is minus 1 already this value is 1 so minus 1 mod 23 so since the uh, modulus is 23 here minus 1 minus 1 23 means its a positive value is minus 1 plus 23 is 22 mod 23. So, like that, whenever you got the negative value here, after adding this with uh, modulus, you will get some positive value. So, this is 22 mod 23, 4 mod, 20, 4 mod 7, 3 mod 7. So, these are these are calculated by using these formulas by using these formulas we have calculated a1 a2 b1 b2 values now we have the a1 a2 b1 b2 values by using these combinations a1 and b1 a1 b2 a2 b1 a2 b2 by using these combination values you will calculate four plain text so if you observe the case one how to calculate the plain text using these values that can be calculated by using chinese remainder theorem to find the four possible values so how the chinese uh, remainder theorem will work see the case one first case take the a1 value is 1 b1 value is 4 as per the previous example a1 is 1 mod 23 B1 is 4 mod 7. So A1 is 1, its uh, modulus is 23. B1 is 4 and its modulo divisor is mod value is 7. So um, write down these values in the Chinese remainder theorem for, uh, format. That means some x is equal to x is equal to a1 means 1 mod its remainder 23 again x equal to b1 is 4 what is its remainder 7 so the so the we have the two formulas here x is equal to 1 mod 23 x is equal to again 4 mod 7 these are like this x is equal to some coefficient a1 mod some modulo divided value modulus value again x is congruent to a to some modulo mod modulo division value so 
by using uh, this combination x is equal to 1 mod 23 x is equal to 4 mod 27 so we will calculate x value by using chinese remainder theorem for that first to calculate m value capital m value capital m is nothing but this small uh, this modular division value into this modular division value 23 into 7 is equal to 161 this is capital one this is capital m now capital m1 is equal to capital m by this uh, first remain first modulus 23 so 161 by 23 equal to 7 this is m1 now m2 is equal to m by this is second modulus 7 so 161 by is equal to 23 so m capital m1 is equal to 7 capital m2 is equal to 23 now calculate m1 inverse m1 inverse m1 is 7 7 inverse mod 23 is equal to as per the multiplicative inverse formula, 7 power 7 inverse mod 23 means 7 power, since 23 is the prime, 7 power 23 minus 2 mod 23. This is equal to 7 power 21 mod 23. So 7 power 21 mod 23, the answer is 10. How to get this 10? Already I explained in the previous classes. Generally, 7 power 21 mod 23 can be calculated as first calculate 7 power 1 7 power 1 mod 23 what is the answer is equal to 7 then calculate 7 square mod 23 so that is 49 mod 23 23 into 246 here 49 49 minus 46 it is 49 minus 46 remainder is 3 so 7 square mod 23 is 3 now 7 to the power of 4 mod 23 is equal to um, its value square 3 square 3 square means 9 9 mod 23 is 3 square is 9, 9 mod 23 is 9. Then 7, 4, 8 is equal to 7, 4 square. That means 9 square is 81. 81 mod 23 is 81 mod 23. What is the 81 mod 23? 81 divided by 23. So 3 times, 23, 3 times. Then remainder is 81 divided by 23 three times so then the remainder is 12 so its value is 12 its value is 12 now 7 for 16 is equal to this 12 square that means 144 by modulo divided by 23 this is equal to this is equal to 144 divided by 23 it uh, 23 6 times then remainder is 6 so remainder is 6 so we have we have different uh, values 7 power 1 is 7 7 square is 3 7 to the power of 4 is 9 7 power 8 is 12 7 power 16 is 6 actually we need to calculate 7 power 21 so 7 power 21 mod 23 7 power 21 so for that purpose divide uh, convert the 21 into binary form so it, its value is uh, the binary form of the 21 is actually it is 
1. That means you have to multiply here 7 power 1 value, leave the 7 square value and multiply 7 power 4 value, leave the 7 power 8 value and multiply 7 power 16 value. That means 6 into uh, 4 is 9 into 1 is 7. So that is equal to 6 into 9 into 7 is equal to 378 by modulo divided by 23. So 378 modulo divided with 23 is the remainder equal to 10. So finally we will get the 10. Like that we have to calculate the M2 inverse. That is M2 is 23 inverse mod 27. It is equal to 4. Now finally calculate the plain text. X using these uh, this coefficient A1, A2, then uh, M1, M2, then M1 inverse, M2 inverse. So first a1 into m1 into m1 inverse, a2 into m2 into m2 inverse. So this is equal to 438 mod 161 is equal to 116. This is the first plain text. Now, if you consider the second case, a1 and b2 combination, a1 is 1, here b2 is 3. Already in the previous case, a1 is 1, b1 is 4. In this case, A1 is 1, B2 is 3. So, the if you write and remember the modulo divisors are 23 and 7 only. So, if you write these values in the Keynes uh, remainder uh, theorem formula form, x equal to 1 mod 23, x is equal to 3 mod 7. So, here these modulo dividers are not changed. That's why this m value m1 inverse m2 inverse all the values are same here only this a2 value is this coefficient is changed from the previous case and this case only this a2 value case this uh, uh, a2 coefficient value is changed from 4 to 3 in the previous case it is 4 now it is 3 only that's why only he, he all the values are remains same, only this value is 3. That's why finally, after multiplying this 3 party 6, um, after performing solving this value, you will get the 3 party 6 mod 161 is equal to 24. This is the second plain text. And the third case is A2 and B1 combination. A2 is 22, B1 is 4. So the formula is x is equal to 22 mod 23, x is equal to 4 mod 27. So, after by using these two formulas, apply Chinese uh, remainder theorem for, um, theorem here. So, m is the same 161, m1 is 7, m2 is so here the m1 inverse is then these are values also same only here this value changed all the values are remains same only this value changed that's why its value is this one it is equal to 137 and fourth case is only a to b to 22 33 so here only this value is changed from the previous case so that's why it is equal to 45 so finally we will get we have uh, calculated four plain texts so, first case 1 plain text is 116, case 2 plain text is 24, case 3 plain text is 137, case 4 plain text is 45. So, case 1 is 116 plain text, case 2 is 24, case 3 is 137, case 4 is 45. Among these, what is the actual plain text sent by Alice? Actual plain text sent by, we assumed the plain text sent by the Alice is 24. So, this 24 is received, actually he received, Bob received, actually he, after calculation, he got four plain texts, among these four plain, four plain texts, we have to choose the actual plain text, that is the 
this 24. This one. So this is the way of this is the way of uh, sending the plain text and receiving the uh, plain text at the recipient side. So how to encrypt, how to decrypt, how the uh, public key calculated, how what are the private key combinations, and uh, how we have performed this one. So this is the Rabin crypto system algorithm.